So the examples of regenerated cellulosic fibers are rayon, modal, bamboo, polynosic, etc. Let's come to the man-made category now. All of us know that man-made category of fibers, they are also known as synthetic fibers. And the examples for the same are polyester, nylon, acrylic, etc. So let's now come to the burning test class. What do you, what is it that you all, you know, need for, the, for conducting this class? These are the tools which ma'am will tell you. So the tools required for the burning test are, you require a, a lighter and if you don't have a lighter then you can use a matchbox. You require a forcep, you require a scissor for cutting the fabric, you require a stapler for stapling the fabrics after doing the burning test and you require a pencil for doing the observations. Now Shada ma'am will explain you the all the tests which are uh, which the burning to show the to look at the burning behavior of these fibers so first we will be starting with a cotton fabric and we will observe that how the different category of fabrics you know fiber contents they are behaving differently while we are doing the burning test so first when we look at the cellulosic fibers all of you have to remember that being taken you know being extracted from uh, a plant based uh, from a plant uh, you know as an origin we have to see that all of them will be behaving in kind of a similar manner. So let's look at how a paper burns because paper is also taken from cellulose. Yeah, from plants. So be very careful while you are doing the burning test because there might be, uh, you know, uh, the residues in some of the fibers, it drips down. So, but in case of cellulosic fibers, you will see that, see, it's a paper. All of you must have seen. So how a paper burns flame. yeah so it you know it catches fire quickly it is highly flammable and it is not self extinguishing you have to blow off the flame you can see the residue dropping down you know so it's very light and feathery in nature there was an orange afterglow some students ask what is an afterglow so it is nothing but the remaining flame which is there in the edge on the edges of the paper you can see the residue here it is soft and easily crushable and very light so somewhat gray colored ash you will be left with this is how a paper burns now the why we burnt a paper was to show you that it is something similar how a cotton and all the plant based cellulosic fibers would be burning so now right now we are burning a cotton fabric this is a cotton sheeting fabric it carries flame it is not self extinguishing you have to extinguish the fire and when you extinguish the fire it's got an afterglow so this is our, the orange afterglow that you can see and the smell of this uh, smoke is similar to that of a burning paper it smells like a burning paper and it has a white smoke coming yeah. out so extinguish the fire immediately inside the any metal plate or bowl if you have so be careful, don't do the burning test, do the burning test outside, don't sit on your sofa or any wooden material which is highly flammable. So these are the edges that you can observe and if you take out, try and take out the residue, it's easily, you know, crushable and soft in nature. So this was cotton. Let's look at the linen. So this is 100% linen fabric. Again, being from the same source. It will also catch fire easily, non-extinguishing, that means we have to extinguish the flame. So these are, this was the orange afterglow that we observed and the smell is similar to that of a burning paper and this is the residue that we could see and you know the grey coloured ash which is soft and crushable. One thing that we have to understand is sometimes the students ask that how is it that we are going to distinguish them like this also burned the same way but there is something called a visible dif you know differentiation when you visually uh, you know see it and the other one is the tactile feel of it. So for that we will have another session where we will talk about the touch of a feel or a feel of a fabric in that session you can observe the difference what we are talking about but we have to be sure about visually also that generally we know that linen how it looks and how cotton looks but being from the same source the burning behavior might be similar let's look at the regenerated category so this is a rayon fabric with us and we are going to burn it so you can see the drape also it's soft now and feels soft to um, hand now we will see that it again ca catches fire quickly. It was, 
it is non self extinguishing just a second we forgot to put it in the forcep so just be careful no no it's plastic plastic so always remember to hold the fabric with the forcep and be careful that you know uh, in the highly flammable fiber contents you know sometimes the whole of the fiber the fabric burns and you are left with the residue and you have to be careful that you are you have kept a glass of water by your side because there might be cases where the entire fabric is burning you can simply dip it inside that glass of water so uh, and always hold the fabric in this way so we are again burning rayon here since we can see that it's highly flammable we have to be careful and you can you know try and extinguish this with the help of a maybe put a few drops in yeah it. so this is how Please rayon is burning yeah yeah so in case of rayon you could see that the uh, the residue is slightly darker in color and the smell remains the same that of a burning paper so now let's look at and please uh, put these fabrics aside we are going to staple them later on after we are done with the burning test now let's come to the protein fiber category here we are going to start with the silk fiber silk fabric in case of protein fiber content you have to uh, observe you will observe that the when we bring it close to flame it is it generally curls away from flame so please observe carefully so this See. is self extinguishing yeah it does not carry any flame when the source of the flame is removed it automatically extinguishes it also forms a ash which is crushable are, and there are beads bead formation and a crushable ash this the it also gives a pungent smell yeah it gives a rotten egg smell so these fibers are basically safer to burn and the same burning behavior will be with wool fabric also if you burn wool fabric shardab ma'am is going to hold it so this is self extinguishing wool and silk are self extinguishing so once the source of flame is removed it automatically extinguishes on its own so therefore sometimes you know people say that if a person is burning then you know put a blanket on it so this is the reason why in olden days people used to say that and the ash which is formed is also crushable and it also gives you a pungent smell sometimes yeah. similar to that of a burning hair please smell this this pungent smell this is very characteristic because like this you can identify between synthetic fibers like acrylic which is you know used for your sweaters because this is going to melt being a synthetic fiber so maybe we can burn from this so this is a substitute for wool fiber this will start melting and it is highly flammable and what happens is it forms a molten substance and this molten substance can start dropping yeah so will so it forms like a plastic here don't touch it don't touch it immediately let it blow it a little bit so that you know it becomes cooler and it forms a hard, hard edge bead, right it forms a hard edge here so this is how is the difference between wool and acrylic fibers so acrylic fibers are used for your sweaters and most commonly uh, they are very popularly used for your cheap quality sweaters sweaters next is polyester 100% polyester so be very careful while burning this also because this is also going to melt see this it starts melting and it forms a black smoke i'm going to again burn it see how it catches fire and it starts dripping down the polymer will start dripping down so be very careful can you see that yeah so this is very hot right now don't touch it immediately let it and it forms like a plastic substance here and you can see can you see this yeah it it melts like your polythene and hardens it's very hot right now so we can't touch it okay so it's become cool down a bit now okay so now once you have done all these tests what you can do is just put all the fabrics here and 
put your observations with pencil so put them in sequence also the way we have done the classification table and with pencil or put all the observations here you put your, your observations when you do the burning test you put your own observations like cotton it catches fire very easily it's highly flammable it burns like paper pe paper feather like ash it's got an afterglow linen burns exactly like paper it burns exactly like cotton highly flammable again once again rayon also highly flammable because it is obtained from wood pulp then you have wool and silk wool is self extinguishing silk is also self extinguishing and polyester is highly flammable it forms a molten substance carries flame and acrylic is a substitute for wool so it also burns like polyester thank you